We should make the lighting based on Instagram story ring colors. Okay, let's take a look. So I've jumped onto my Instagram real quick and as you can see above these stories or at least around these stories you can see there is a colored gradient that goes around them. It's like yellow, orange, some pink and purple. That is what we're going to be making a keyboard lighting design about. Let's hop into the Razor Snap Studio and see what we can do. So I've just created a brand new studio profile and this is what you see. So the Instagram ring is a color gradient and the best way to do gradients inside of Razor Synapse is to use a wave layer. When you create a brand new profile, we're gonna change the spectrum cycling layer. We're gonna click these three dots and we're gonna change that to a wave layer. Now the very first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just going to double click on any of the lighting zones, which is gonna select everything and I'm gonna delete all of the effects off of all of my devices. And then I'm only going to select just my keyboard. We're gonna click on the color gradient up here at the top and we can choose just a rainbow pattern right now. We'll adjust this a little bit later. I'm just going to even out these color nodes a little bit. Now the Instagram ring colors do not move. They're just a static gradient that is around each story. So the best way we're going to replicate that on here is to take this color gradient, come down to speed and put it at zero. This is going to stop your gradient from moving and you'll have a static gradient on your keyboard. Now we're not going to use a horizontal gradient because it's more of at a diagonal. So I'm going to change this angle up and to the right a little bit. Now the issue we have here is that the color gradient begins to repeat before the end of our keyboard. So we're gonna make sure we have all of our lighting zones selected and we're gonna click on our color gradient and we're gonna start clicking on this up arrow on the width and we're gonna keep increasing our width until the opposite sides of the keyboard are not the same color anymore and there's no repeated pattern. And what I found that value to be is about 125% width. We're just gonna hop onto Google and we're gonna search for the Instagram story color gradient. So here in this people also ask box, it says what is the gradient color for Instagram? And it gives all the hex color codes that we need to match the colors. So we're gonna hop back into Synapse. We're gonna click on our color gradient here and we're gonna make just five color nodes cause that's all we need. Click on two of these color nodes and hit the trash can and just delete them. Okay, so to get rid of the blue color spilling over from one edge of the keyboard to the other, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this light blue node and I'm gonna hit the plus sign. I'm gonna slide the original node over just a smidge and slide this node, this new node, in tight to it. Even though it has six nodes, this represents five different colors and I'll show you why. This node here that we just created is going to be our lower left color of our color gradient here. So if we color that yellow, you can now see that the bottom left edge of our keyboard color gradient is now yellow and the top right is blue. So the first color that Google gives us for the color gradient is going to be a light yellow. So we're gonna select this color node that we just added and we're going to put in that light yellow color. Moving on to the next color node, which is this purple one, we're going to be changing this to an orange color. So I'm just copying the color code that I get from Google and I'm pasting it right on top of these color nodes. I'm clicking in the hex code here and I'm pasting it in. The next color that we get is a pink. And for this third color, we're going to want to change the first and last nodes because they represent the same color here. This color node here is going to represent our fourth color, which is going to be a purple. And last but not least, our blue node here is going to be changed to a blue hued color from Google. So we'll click save. And as you can see, we now have the Instagram story color gradient on our keyboard. Now this profile alone looks really good, but I'm gonna add a quick little area ripple. We're gonna click on that ripple layer to add that. We're gonna select all of the keys on our keyboard. I'm gonna select the color gradient here and I'm gonna choose this two node pattern here. Drag the right node all the way over to the left and we're gonna make that transparent. We're gonna drag it away from the left side just a little bit here and drag the left node over. So whatever color you want your ripple to be, we're going to make this left node that color. So I'm gonna go with this purple color and looking at the studio screen, I don't really like the purple color 
actually. So I'm going to change it to a hue of orange that I might like. I think that honestly looks pretty good. Before I hit save, I'm going to make my ripple a little bit smaller. I just drag these nodes over to the left a little bit. So now the ripple isn't quite as big and it fades off much faster. So here we have the Instagram color gradient with a nice orange looking ripple going across the keyboard, which actually looks really clean and I like it a lot. Now, if you have multiple devices and you wanna put this color gradient on another device, I would highly recommend that you do this right here. So with this first wave gradient that we made, we're gonna double click on that and we're gonna rename that to keyboard. And then we're gonna select any of these keys on our keyboard in the studio and we're gonna control C to copy the effect that we did on that. We're gonna add a brand new wave layer and we're gonna drag that down just above our keyboard layer. And then whatever new device you have, I would create a new effect layer for each one. So with this new wave layer, I'm going to select my mouse. I'm gonna control V to paste the effect that I have onto my mouse and it just works really really clean that way we can rename this one to mouse and you can continue the process for all of the devices that you have in your studio it looks a lot better when you have an effect layer for each device so i really hope you like this tutorial video on how to turn your keyboard lighting into instagram story color gradient this profile will be available for you to download on my website unrealhero.com and for my paid members i will make two additional color variants that you guys can download and have on the discord channel thank you so much for the idea and if any of you guys watching this video have an idea of a design that you would like to see please leave a comment down below you can also go to my discord server i have a request channel in there and you can leave a request just like this person did Thank you so much for watching. Hit that subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next video.